Hey guys, Doug here from Trigger King. How's it going? I have another quick uh, Trigger King tech video for you here, and I wanted to talk mega trucks here for just a little bit, and specifically more so actually the tires on them. So the uh, J Concepts fling tires and the Dragon wheels. So these were released not that long ago, and basically these were the catalyst that made us decide we wanted to race mega trucks again. It had been years since we had done it. When we did it before, we were using you know like cut and shut Emacs and Clod tires. Guys still do that, and it works for them, but they're not ideal really. These J Concepts tires and the wheels, they look the part and they work the part as well. I mean, these are like real Rice and King tires that you would see on the real King Sling, which by the way, Rotten Apple here, this is a, a J Concepts King Sling body that I've uh, just got painted a little different for you here. Um, but that's what body's on this truck. Anyways, getting back to the, uh, the tires here, these are gold compound. And we were gonna start doing this. I know there was some talk between the guys in our club, what tires are everyone gonna use compound wise. J Concepts offers the same, you know, they do on their monster truck tires, which are the gold, which are harder, and then they also offer the blues, which are the uh, you know the super soft. And myself and a few others, we wanted to go with the gold. Uh, I know for me, the hunch was that these were going to still be plenty soft and grippy, but they wouldn't be super soft and grippy, which we you know want to turn the truck over as much or you know put it into a wheel stand. And I have to say, I love how this truck handles with these. The the gold still provide plenty of traction. The forward bite, I mean, it wants to wheelie still. Yeah, I know some of the guys though are using the blue, and that blue is super soft, and they like it. But just in my opinion, I think gold is the way to go on these. So your results may vary. Heck, get a couple pairs, try them out. Maybe even one different compound on the front or the rear. You know, as far as how these make your truck handle, if you're wondering, you know, most of our mega trucks are SMT 10 based, but pretty much all of them are set up just like a monster truck, you know, our racing monster trucks. It's just the tires that are different. And they handle quite a bit different though. These tires make a huge difference. These tires weigh basically nothing and you don't have the big tread pattern on them. You know, the, the width. All that track contact so the trucks feel very nimble and they feel much more finicky as well they're way more responsive and that's a good or a bad thing you also don't have the normal gyro effect that the bigger tires do in the in the air the truck is just way more sensitive so a mega truck is tougher to drive i think than a monster truck all things you know considered yes they they're not wildly different they do handle somewhat similar but in general these things are just a little bit harder to get a hold of and the surface you're running on them if we're plowing through water or mud it's just different, but they are a lot of fun. I would recommend you guys, uh, you know, if you're out there and you want to try a club of these, just try it. And if you don't want to run in the mud or the dirt or whatever, just run them on carpet. You know, I saw at the uh, an event last weekend, guys were running them through like, it looked like foam or something to simulate the mud. And that's cool too. Just these tires are really cool. And it's awesome that someone really took a chance, you know, to get mega trucks bigger because they are a lot of fun to drive. And uh, especially when you put a, you know, a big power plant in one of these, they're just crazy. They're like a real mega truck in, in that respect. You know, they're just so powerful and the way they handle, they're just, they feel a lot more nimble than the monster trucks do. Now, one last thing, I know our last event was pretty watery. Uh, as the season goes on, we're gonna try and get more mud in the track. The big problem has just been the weather. I know all around the US it's been like this, but it just keeps raining, it will not stop. It finally relented some, but the track is still too muddy or too wet to get a tractor on it. Um, when we can do that, we're gonna try and add more actual mud, you know, so we don't have all the water on it. So. Bear with us on the track as we're learning how to do this. And let me tell you, it is hard to work a mega truck track. It's different than a regular dirt track because you want it super muddy and you need the consistency and everything, you know, to be what it, to what you want, what the drivers want. And of course you also have to get the trucks prepped and everything. All our trucks are waterproof. That's a whole, you know, whole other ball of wax. But um, anyways, we love running the mega trucks. We're happy they're back. Bear with us. We'll get the format down as uh, you know as weather allows mainly that's the big thing we're just kind of under the gun with weather so thank you guys for watching we always you know all the guys that run in trigger king we appreciate the support it's really cool that you guys watch these videos and i'm going to try and do more trigger king tech videos i'm going to do more truck overviews and everything as soon as we can again we just got to get the weather to start cooperating here with us because even at the event last time it was super rainy the whole time we raced and uh, not conducive to doing interviews and that kind of thing so we'll work on it and thank you guys for the support and we'll see you next time